Hello friends, I will come into this discussion while we're proving that tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to 6 squared theta. So to do this, we'll pick a side and simplify that side. The end result should be equal to the other side. So in this case, we'll consider the left proving to be equal to the right hand side. So this is uh, tan squared theta plus 1. So what we do is this tan squared theta that we have, the tan squared theta that we have this one, what will happen to it is it will be expressed in terms of sine and cos. Now we do know that there's an identity for tan which is simply tan theta being equal to sine theta over cos theta. Sure you know this by now. Now, since what we are given is tan squared, it means that if we are to square this, we are required to square even the other side, this one. So meaning that tan squared can also be written as sine squared over cos squared. So what we now do is, where this tan squared we we'll substitute with this, so this gives us sine squared theta over cos squared theta, then we add a 1. So now this is um, a fraction which we are supposed to express as a single fraction. So what we do is this can be divided by 1, then we'll find the lowest common multiple which is simply cos squared theta. Now what we do next is this cos squared theta, we're going to cos squared theta and this yields a 1. 1 will be multiplied by this sine squared. So you'll get sine squared theta. We add with 1 into cos squared. We get cos squared times 1 simply give us cos squared. Now sine squared plus cos squared we know to say this gives us a 1. Okay, then we divide with cos squared. Cos squared. What now happens is, now from identities again, we have an identity which is 1 over cos. And we don't say this is uh, giving us sec. Now since this is squared, it means that even our sec will also be squared. Hence, this is the result which we have also on the right hand side so this therefore gives us this expression tan squared theta to be equal to that hence our proof